Hey GearHeads, today we're going to talk about the Gemtech GM45 silencer. Hey GearHeads, Jeff with Gear Report. If you're new to this channel, we do reviews of all kind of outdoor gear. We'll do camping, backpacking, hiking, some water sports stuff. We do a lot of firearms, whether they be pistols, rifles, we even do some air guns. We do full spectrum of that stuff, shooting, hunting, concealed carry. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do that because we got a lot of great reviews on the way and we don't want you to miss them. What we're gonna talk about today is from Gemtech Silencer. This is their GM45 model. And uh, just for convenience, I actually have it mounted on a, uh, a, a SIG P226 air gun right now. It's an air pistol, so it's just for demonstration so you can see what it looks like with the lid device, the linear inertial decoupler that is uh, on here. So let's go ahead and take this off because it doesn't really fit on this. Uh, I feel weird having it on an air pistol anyway. There we go. Get that off of there. What we have here is the GM45. It is set up for a 45 ACP pistol. Neat thing about this is you can also shoot 9 millimeter. You can shoot 40 Smith and Wesson. Uh, you can shoot 10 millimeter. There are some restrictions. I believe the 40 and the 10 both need to be shot dry. In all the other cases, it can be shot dry or wet. And uh, you know what? I want to be sure I get all these statistics right. So let me pull the paperwork out here. This is 6.2 inches in length. It's 1.375 inches in diameter. The unit weighs 5.5 ounces without the mount. And when we say without the mount, I told you uh, this is the half 28 lid device on the end. I'm going to unscrew this and take it off. Here is the actual half 28. We've got another one here that is the 0.578 by 28. This is the one we'd use with the 45. All right, 5 8 by 24. So this is going to fit on a 30 caliber, like a 300 blackout, which if you're shooting subsonic, this pistol can will actually work for a 300 blackout as well. Uh, you see this does not use the linear inertial decoupler. This is a solid mount. We've got the same thing here for a half 28. This is actually a really nice can if you're shooting 22 long rifle. So if you've got, you know, a 1022 or my son has a Savage 22 bolt action rifle that we use this can on and it's absolutely fantastic. Um, which is kind of surprising. A pistol cam for 45 is great for 22. Who'd have thunk it? Uh, they have a 916 by 24 for 40 Smith and Wesson, and for some 9 millimeter carbines, a uh, one half by 36. So some of them work with the one half 28, others need the one half 36, like a Colt, a Rock River Arms, a Bushmaster. They also have a metric 13.5 uh, by one left-handed for 9 millimeter carbines and subguns. We like subguns. So this is full auto rated. That can be important. Kind of surprising because this is an aluminum can. Um, you kind of expect that if it's full auto rated, it's going to be a titanium can. The other important thing that everyone wants to know is it's a silencer. How much does it silence? Well, the whole, the, the term silencer is kind of, it's misleading. It doesn't make it silent. It reduces the report of the firearm when shot dry it's about a 23 decibel reduction when shot wet that's 35 so what does that mean wet versus dry go check out the videos on the gemtech website i'll put a link in the description where you can go watch the angry dwarf excuse me i mean alexander you can go watch alexander and he has some videos he'll explain to you what he means by wet versus dry basically it has to do with putting some some grease along the edges in here of the the port where the bullet travels down the center and that helps to seal and reduce the sound a bit uh, i don't i don't claim to be an expert on the mechanics of that when you shoot a firearm that has a suppressor on the end a lot of nasty stuff comes out the end of the barrel and a, a lot of it gets deposited here on the inside of the suppressor so 
some brands, you know, they make the cans where you can't get them open, you can't clean what's inside. And you're going to get a, a honestly, you probably get a pretty good service life out of them anyway. But, you know, sometimes you want to be able to open it up and clean it. I'll tell you right now, this is hard to open because I haven't opened it up to clean it. Here, it, it's coming open. There we go. So now you can see the K-baffles inside. Uh, and honestly, they don't look too bad. I think we had a little bit of buildup that was making it hard to get started, but uh, kind of surprised as many rounds as I put through this, a variety of them wet. I thought it'd be kind of nasty in here. It actually looks pretty good. Very little erosion along the edges, uh, which I would have expected a little bit more uh, with the amount of shooting we've done with this. Uh, shot a lot of subsonic 300 blackout, and you know, as I said, it is full auto rated. We didn't shoot technically full auto, but I've had this on a 300 blackout with a slide fire stock, which is loads of fun if you haven't tried one. I'll put a link to the slide fire stock in the, in the description as well. You need to go check out our videos on that. Uh, loads of fun, and it's as close as you can get to full auto without actually having a full auto weapon, uh, in my opinion. So um, I would have expected a little bit more erosion in here from shooting at a very high rate uh, for a prolonged period of time, but it's held up very well. So we have an external threading here, internal at the back of the tube. The tube, by the way, this, this looks like the fun part, right? The, the business end, this is the part that's actually the silencer as far as the government is concerned, the serialized component. It's got the internal threading here. That's how we mate these together to screw them back. So this is the GM45 from GemTech, a pistol can that can be used for subsonic 300 blackout, as well as a variety of pistol calibers and even 22 long rifle. Uh, it does very well. Uh, it comes in this little case which is nice, give you something you can uh, put on your Molly gear, uh, secure it in place so you've got it there, easy access, give it a little bit of protection. Or if you want protection while it's actually on the firearms, you can talk to our buddies at Coltec. This, uh, I, you know, I'm gonna have to put a link to what model this is, I don't remember. But what I do know is this is a heat resistant sleeve that's good for like, some ridiculous amount. You can go read the website. I believe it's something like 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Like, I hope it never gets that hot, but if it does, it should not melt this sleeve. Um, so that is the, the temperature resistant sleeve and that goes in this protective outer cover that Velcros tight and it's got some, there we go, three of those. And then this, you actually attach to the barrel. So like if you're shooting full auto or with slide fire or something and it gets moving around, it doesn't slide off. So this is a, a tether to hold it in place. And I believe it's like a Kevlar thread or something like that, very heat resistant. So uh, an additional layer of protection from Coltec, go check them out at the link. The time this video was shot at the end of February 2017, these are listing for about $6.99 at various different places. Check the links in the description to see what the current price is. I'm always hesitant to talk about price because it can change, but that's what it was now, $6.99. Not a hardcore multi-use can because it's tailored for pistol use, but you get the flexibility of having a few rifle applications you can use it on as well. GM45 from GemTech. Go check it out, we'll see you at the range.